So it's now been six months since I've had the AWOL LTV 3000 Pro and I've now put it in its own custom housing. It looks really smart, but don't worry guys, this isn't one of those 3000 pound housings. This I did myself and it was really cheap and I'm gonna tell you how you can do something similar. But also I thought it's the perfect time to consider big screen action when we've got so many huge sporting events just around the corner. So let's take a closer look. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. Now with huge sporting events just around the corner, there is no better time to consider getting a huge screen to watch them on. I can promise you there is nothing better than watching your favorite sport on a screen of 100 or 120 inches. It just feels like you're almost there and it gives you an atmosphere that you just do not get with a TV. One thing that has always been a little bit of a problem for me with these ultra short throw laser projectors is having the position of them. You've got to have them sat just in front, which on the sound of it is great. But in reality, when you've got also a 120 inch rising screen, I ended up just popping it on top of another unit and having a table in front of it, which looked absolutely rubbish. Now, don't get me wrong, you still got the incredible screen and that incredible brightness from this projector, but it just didn't look quite right. So I decided that I was going to design my own because I wasn't prepared to pay £3,000 for a custom unit. Now, I've used this unit here, which is two units with a gap in the middle, and I've basically just filled in the gap to put the projector. And then the other thing I did was reposition the legs so that half of the legs will support the screen which sits behind the unit. It's all pretty simple, but it seems to work pretty well. You can make this out of MDF or some other type of plywood, and it doesn't have to be really expensive. So the projector sits on a slider which is connected via USB to the projector so as soon as you turn the projector on the slider will open automatically. Finally I just put a cover over the top which was from another similar unit and I just cut it to the similar size. I'm not quite happy with that but you'll get an idea once I take this off as to what it looks like underneath. Now this is perfectly fine you could just have it all open but you can see the screen is lifted off the floor and I think it does a pretty good job. But I would say without a doubt the one thing that I've noticed is that it completely takes away the distraction which I had before. I was always enawed by the actual size of the screen and the image quality of the projector but kept on looking down to this thing sat in front of it. Whereas now it just feels like a cohesive unit which is meant to be there. And it means that you can just concentrate completely on that incredible screen and the incredible projector. So let's talk a little bit more about the LTV 3000 Pro which is now around six months old. I do have to say this is one of the brightest projectors that I've had. It really is incredible. The detail and the sharpness is fantastic. This projector is perfectly watchable even in the brightest of rooms, but as with any projector, it definitely gets better and better the darker the room. Now, I would say that this is perfect for an ambient lit room, so you don't have to have all of the lights off. So as I lower the projector, you'll see, and in most of these clips that I show you, you'll see I've still got lights on within the room because it's not necessarily realistic to sit in a completely darkened room. When I first reviewed this projector, I was projecting against a 100 inch ALR screen. Now it's quite incredible the difference the extra 20 inches on that floor rising AWOL screen has given. It just almost feels like you're in the big screen at the movies rather than the small screen. It is utterly impressive, those extra 20 inches. Now I know that might seem obvious, but it is just really quite noticeable, in incredibly noticeable. It feels like a completely different experience. Don't get me wrong, I am very happy with a 100 inch screen that is great for most people but if you can and you have got the space to go that extra 20 inches well then definitely go for it because it really gives a whole new feeling on the home cinema experience. For me this type of setup has to have one key ingredient it has to deliver on every level. If you're paying this type of money for a big setup, then you need it to do incredible for sporting events, amazing for movies, and also great for normal TV. And this projector and this screen together definitely deliver. Watching standard HDTV 
is a real pleasure. The upscaling on this projector is incredible. The colors are all natural and bright and vivid, and it really still feels like that cinema experience. So you don't have to just be putting 4K footage through this projector in order to get a really good picture. It does a brilliant job just with normal TV. Now, I do have to say that one of the things I love about the ultra short throw projectors is just the compactness and the way that they just disappear. If you've got a rising screen as well, well then that's great if you don't want to fix anything to a wall. You don't have to fix a projector to a wall, have leads running everywhere, or have a screen against the wall. So this is probably your most portable option. It really does deliver on that front. So I will leave a link in the description to my full review and you can watch that which goes into more detail about the projector. But to summarise, the things that I really loved about this projector was the contrast and the sharpness. Literally from edge to edge of the screen it is crystal clear and super super sharp. As well as having peak lumens of 3000, this is an incredibly packed machine. And what I mean by that is it's got everything that you really need. It's 3D, it does a great job of gaming with its turbo game mode and its HDR10 plus so games will look fantastic. There's also lots of ways that you can change the picture to get it down to your heart's content. But also with the general picture, the way that this handles blacks is just far more superior than many other projectors out there. And that's down to the contrast, so the difference between the black and the white will just give you the feeling of a really, really dark screen. If for instance you take this next screen that's coming up in a second, you'll notice how black the blacks look. So there's stars in the sky which are very, very sharp and you can just pick them out very easily. These are the type of details which are normally lost on a lot of projectors because the blacks are almost grey. So this is really, really impressive. Now, so it doesn't really matter what use you have for this type of projector. I think that most people will be happy. It also covers 3D as well, so if you are a 3D fan, then this is also for you. It's also got three HDMI ports, two on the back, and then there's a compartment to the rear where a fire stick goes in. And in fact, the fire stick does come with this projector. And all you have to do is pop open the back cover and then quickly install the fire stick, and then you're ready to go. So they really have thought of pretty much everything. It also has ARC support as well, so you can hook this up to a soundbar or a sound system. And that way you'll then be able to get the most out of this projector when it comes to sound quality as it has Dolby Atmos support. The remote control, although it's not backlit, which is a little bit disappointing, is perfectly functional and has everything that you're going to need. So overall, my friends, I think that with this projector, you're getting something which is going to last you for years and years, and it's going to look fantastic. If you put it in a type of unit like I have, which is very easy to do and very affordable, I think mine ended up coming in at around about £150, $170. So you can get all of that tucked away and it just looks absolutely fantastic. And then you really will have the ultimate sporting cinema, movie, gaming, and just general TV experience that I think that you'll ever see. It really is fantastic. That's it for this video, my friends. Any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.